dear dad. Zack and I fought last night over the rocking chair. Yes, your favorite chair. Can you imagine? It's unbelievable how a simple conversation turned into such an ugly fight. He wanted it in his room and I wanted it in the porch. Life shows us so many colors, Dad. Zack, the carefree person, got sensitive about a chair. For the first time, I saw his deep emotional side, a side I thought didn't exist. He didn't even acknowledge my presence in the room, hours after the fight, as if I was nobody. You know me, Dad. I'm a person of few words. I'll always call a spade a spade, no matter what. I really meant well. But I guess I was insensitive and jumped to a conclusion too quickly. Maybe he was only trying to connect with you and find memories laden in the rocking chair. Maybe I should have handled the situation with a little more thoughtfulness. As I write this letter to you, I imagine you patiently sitting on your chair, smiling and saying, What's life without a little rock and roll? I've realized that life will always put us in many rocking chairs. We might even have no other choice than to keep rocking back and forth. What matters is whether we want to do it gently or fiercely because either way the chair doesn't go anywhere the rocking is all there is as the words flow I guess I have found my answer patience yes dad I will try to be more patient with myself and Zach and prepare for life's rock and roll until the next letter your loving son see you